I'm going to start with you, uh, actor Park. Um, as an actor, there's lots that goes into a decision about what you're going to make, what projects you decide to take on. When a director like Park comes to you with a project, is it one of those rare moments in a career where you would say yes before even reading a script? 일단 배우님께 먼저 질문인데요. 이제 여러 가지를 고려하면서 작품 다음 작품을 결정하시는데 박찬욱 감독님처럼 거장의 감독님이 오시면은 어, 시나리오를 읽기 전에 하겠다고 말씀을 하시는 경우인가요? 그렇습니다. Yes, that's right. <웃음> 그럴 리가. <웃음> that's not true. <웃음> 확실히 그렇습니다. That is definitely true. 안할 이유가 없습니다. There's no reason to say no to that. This. 내가 두 시간 동안 줄거리를 설명을 해줬다니까요. 그 그걸 다 듣고 나서 그, 그, 며칠 있다가 yes 하지 않았나? I explained the the entire film. I spent two hours explaining the entire film to him, and he didn't even say yes to that immediately. He took time. He took several days, and then he gave me the answer to be exact. That is correct. 감독님이 저를 제안하고 설득하는 시간을 최대한 즐기려고 했습니다. I wanted to enjoy that time where he suggested and tried to explain to me to get on board to his project. 살면서 그런 기회는 많지 않고. <웃음> There's not often that happens in life, really. And, and the director Park, few filmmakers tell stories quite like you do. Every frame feels deliberate, every decision uh, meticulous. When you write a movie, do you visualize every shot during the writing process? And does the finished product often resemble what you first envisioned? Mm. 네, 감독님 영화를 보면은 정말 프레임마다 정성이 다 들어간 것이 보입니다. 하나하나 다 의도가 보이고요. 그 비주얼적으로요. 그래서 이미 집필 하시는 그때부터 머릿속에 다 비주얼이 다 떠오르셔서 그것을 단순히 이제 영화로 옮기신 것인지 이렇게 해서 어, 결과물과 본인이 처음에 어, 음, 그리셨던 그림과 얼만큼 닮아 있나요? 각본 쓸 때에는 그렇게 이렇게 시각화하는 쪽으로 너무 생각하지 않으려고 합니다. 그래서 제 각본은 감독이 쓴 각본 치고는 무슨 카메라가 어떻게 움직인다는 등뭐 이런 이야기들이 그렇게 많이 적혀 있지는 않습니다. 각본 쓸 때는 그냥 스토리텔러로서 좀 집중하려고 하는 편이죠. 다만 이제 프리프로덕션 때 스토리보드를 하는 단계를 반드시 거치기 때문에 그때 이제 그런 일들이 정해지는 거고요. 그것은 거의 그대로 최종 결과물에 유지되는 편이죠. 한 90%는 그대로 간, 찍히고 편집되는 것 같습니다. Well, when I'm working on my screenplay, I try not to think too much about the visuals uh, or visualization of my text. Um, and if you look at my screenplay, um, even though it's written by uh, the film director, you can see that there are not much details on how the camera would move and such. Um, I try to wear the hat of storyteller when I write my screenplay. Um, but then again, I always do storyboarding during the pre-production, and that's when all the visual um, decisions are made and the details are um, put into the storyboards and um, usually uh, most of the storyboard um, elements are reflected in the final. I would say 90% would be in the final uh, edit. And then back to Park, when, when playing a detective in a movie, do you research real detectives or has the construct of that role becomes so kind of ingrained in the fabric of cinematic storytelling that actually your reference points are other detectives from other films and, and TV shows. 네, 배우님, 이 어, 경찰의 역을 할때 다른 어, 작품들의 경찰이나 실제 경찰, 경찰들을 연구를 하시는지 아니면 영화적인 어, 캐릭터이기 때문에 어, 여러 가지 다른 요소들과 아니면 캐릭터 다른 어, 경찰들을 연구하는 편이신지요? 어, 한국 영화에서 제가 맡은 형사 장혜준의 캐릭터는 전에 거의 없다시피 한 캐릭터라고 보시면 됩니다. My character Chang Hae Jun is a detective who's never really been um, seen on Korean films with detectives. 그런 만큼 제가 음, 더 자유롭게 할수 있는 여지가 있고요. 
So because of that, I have the freedom to play to how I feel like playing for this character. 감독님 머릿속에 가슴속에 이미 다 그려놓고 준비되어 있는 형사 장혜준이 있기에 많은 얘기를 통해서 촬영 현장에서 편하게 작품을 찍어 나갔습니다. Uh, because there is already this character in the director's heart and his head, so there is uh, a lot of conversation discussion that uh, is to be had, um, and afterwards um, I was able to enact it in the film. One episode to tell you is that the scene of the crime was the scene of the crime, and the scene of the crime was the scene of the crime, and the scene of the crime so uh, there's an idea that uh, inspired that was transpired with a discussion with the director is that scene um, where uh, Hedrun is faced with the suspect and he's blocking the knife with a glove um, and that is something that we um, had uh, during the discussion 감독님은 그 배우분들의 얘기를 아, 세세하게 들어주시는 그런 부분들이 굉장히 배우한테는 아, 큰 장점이 아니신가 싶습니다 it's a great merit for an actor to have the director listen to the ideas that the actor has, and yes, that's something that's great to work with. Because uh, actor Park mentioned that the, the detective character we see was unlike uh, other detectives we see in cinema, but I thought that was also the case for Tang Wei's character. I just wondered about creating quite a, a new character that we don't see often in films. Then, uh, 감독님. 게 질문드립니다. 어, 탕웨이도 마찬가지로 예, 해준이라는 캐릭터처럼 우리가 이전에 볼수 없었던 아주 유니크한 캐릭터로 탄생이 되었는데요. 그 부분에 대해서 또 말씀 부탁드립니다. 출발은 사실 캐릭터가 아니라 배우였어요. 그러니까 탕웨이를 캐스팅하기 위해서 여자 주인공을 중국인으로 정한 것이고요. 어, 그 거기서 출발해서 하나하나 작가와 함께 어, 캐릭터를 이제 만들어 나갔죠. 그것을 어, 빌드업하는 과정에서는 어, 여러 가지들이 고려됐지만 음, 우리는 탕웨이라는 사람이 가진 매력 또는 가졌지만 아직 보여주지 않았던 매력 이런 것을 음, 활용하려고 노력했습니다. 그래서 어, 각본을 본격적으로 쓰기 전에 음, 접촉을 해서 어, 캐스팅을 했고요. 그러니까 그 다음부터는 어, 그녀와 많은 만남을 가지면서 어, 캐릭터 각본을 음, 써, 써갔고 그, 그 과정에서 그 캐릭터가 점점 더그 배우의 에, 장점과 매력과 어, 개성을 반영하도록 노력했습니다. 아, uh, you know, the starting point was not the character, but the actor Tang Wei herself, because we made Sore a Chinese woman so that we can cast Tang Wei, and uh, from that on. Uh, my co-writer and I started to build the character of Sare step by step. And during the process, there were many things that we had to consider. But of course, it's Tang Wei. You know, she's got her own charms and great merits and um, also some of the things that uh, audience couldn't see so far. So we wanted to reflect all that and really take advantage of all that into the characterization of Sare. And even before I finished writing, I met with um, uh, Tang Wei and I cast her. And um, that means that during my writing process, I was able to uh, bring in all the uh, great charms and appeals and, you know, um, her own color uh, to the character of Sare. Back to Park, my next question was to you, because a lot of this film lives in the subtext, the kind of unspoken, two characters who have a lot to say to one another but don't always say it. So it's reliant on small nuances, you know, glances here and there. Is that quite, do you enjoy that as an actor? I know sometimes having good dialogue is great, but do you like the more restrained, style of acting sometimes. 
그래서 그런 뉘앙스나 시선으로 이렇게 표현해야 되는 부분들이 있었는데 어 물론 이렇게 대화로서 할수 있는 즐거움도 있지만 그런 다른 면의 연기를 즐기시는 면이 있으실까요? 어 배우가 표현할 수 있는 여러 가지 수단 중에 대사를 표현하는 게 가장 직접적이고 편하겠지만 어, 감정과 마음을 잡아서 표정과 눈빛으로 보여주는 것도 아주 좋은 방식이라고 생각이 들어서 그렇게 표현하는 방식들 지금 개인적으로도 좋아합니다. 그래서 이번 영화에서 그런 부분들을 꽤 많이 감독님께서 활용을 해주신 것 같아요. So yes, the most comfortable way to deliver um, the expressions um, as an actor is uh, through dialogues and conversation. Um, but this film, um, there was a lot of usage of, like you say, the, the expressions and the glance, um, which was great, and I personally enjoyed that. And the director uh, managed to use that a lot in the film. 예를 들면 엔딩 장면 같은 부분들이 어, 표정과 눈빛 감정으로만 표현되어줘야 되는 중요한 장면이었기에. 그때 좀 많이 신경 써서 했던 것 같습니다. Um, and the, the final scene actually had the great emphasis on the glance, the emotions, delivery and the expressions. Um, so I made sure to um, take good care of uh, delivering that scene. And my, my final question was to you, Director Park, because you said, um, I've read in another interview, you made a kind of conscious decision to hear to have kind of maybe less violence, less nudity, to allow your film to reach a, a wider audience and maybe be appreciated more so for kind of romantic undercurrent. But does it frustrate you a little bit that the violence and nudity in previous films have distracted or overshadowed audiences from the romance and beauty within some of your films um, to a point where you felt you had to remove it? 네, 인터뷰를 찾아보니까 이런 폭력과 누디티를 좀 줄여서 더 많은 관객들에게 다가가고 또 이제 로맨틱한 영화를 만들고자 했다라고 하셨는데 이전작에서 혹시 너무나 그런 폭력과 어, 섹스가 많아서 내가 의도하고자 했던 그런 로맨스가 좀 덮였다. 그게 좀 아쉬워서 또 이런 방향을 트셨다라고 이해해도 될까요? 예, 마, 맞아요. 그러니까 정확히 말씀드리자면 더 많은 관객에게 영화를 보여주고 싶어서는 아니에요. 그, 그거는 뭐그그전 영화들은 그런 표현이 필요했기 때문에 그렇게 한 거고 이 영화에는 그런 표현이 어울리지 않아서 그렇게 한 것뿐이에요. 어, 순수하게 창조적이고 예술적인 이유 때문입니다. 어, 이 영화는 말씀하신 것처럼 아까 어, 속마음을 잘 드러내지 않는 사람들의 이야기이기 때문에 관객이 거기 집중하기를 바랐습니다. 드러나, 잘 드러나지 않는 그 마음 안에 들어있는 감정을 읽어내기 위해서는 이 배우의 대사가 아닌 표정, 눈빛, 손짓발짓 이런 것을 어, 미묘한 차이를 느끼기를 바랬습니다. 그렇기 때문에 지나친 어, 자극은 피해야 했죠. Uh, yes, you can say that, but uh, to be more exact, I can say that I did not um, subdue any violence or nudity for this film so that I can reach more audience. Um, well, all my uh, previous films needed nudity and violence. That is why I put them in, and this time around, um, such graphic um, description was not needed, and that's why I didn't put that in. Um, it was uh, solely creative and artistic decision. For, for this film, you know, like uh, you described it very well, the characters are really bad at expressing their true emotions. Um, they, they beat around the bush and they don't directly express how they feel. So the audience needs, needs to really catch those small moments. Um, they need to really concentrate. Um, so since our characters don't speak out loud what they're thinking or how they're feeling, the audience has to concentrate on small details and the changes that are happening in their faces, in their eyes, and in their little actions. And that's the really the only way the audience can um, 
uh, really, uh, really experience what's happening on the screen. And that's why I, I had to subdue anything that's too stimulating. Well, the finished product is wonderful. So congratulations on the film and thank you for today. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!